Angels hosting the Mariners. The Mariners are plus 105 on the money line. The Angels are minus 120. The over-under, seven and a half runs. The Mariners getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 190, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Angels laying a run and a half on the run line are plus one. Uh, I've seen them as low as plus 165, and I've seen them as high as plus 200, so shop around. Head-to-head, the road team is six and four. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The favorite is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5 five and five in their last 10 meetings. There have been three one-run games in their last 10, including the last game that they played against each other. The over is 7-3 and three in their last 10. The over 7.5 runs is 7-3 and three as well. And the wind is blowing out from second base or shortstop towards right center field or more so right field, at 10.3 miles per hour. Both of these pitchers have pitched against the opposing team. Castillo went five and two-thirds, no runs, no earned. They won that game 11-2, and he struck out six in that game. The Mariners are four and five in his last nine appearances. One of the games they used him in relief. He's averaging five innings pitched and six and a half strikeouts per game in those games. Both of these pitchers are going to be guys who you'd want to look at for the K line, but Otani's Ks have been coming down recently, so keep that in mind. Otani pitched once against the Mariners. Six innings, one run, one earn. They won that game four to three. That was in Seattle. He struck out eight in that game. The uh, the Angels are 7-3 and three as a team in Otani's 10 starts, or his last 10 starts. They've dropped his last two starts. He's averaging 5 and 2 thirds innings pitched and 7.8 strikeouts per game in those games. They played a three-game set earlier this year. The Angels won the first one 7-3. The Astros won... No, the Mariners won the next one 11-2, which was when Castillo pitched. And then the Angels won the next one 4-3, which was when Otani pitched. In their last handful of games overall, the Mariners are 4-6 and six in their last 10 and 1-4 and four in their last 5. 22 runs, 15 runs, 5 runs, and 13 runs. 6 runs in a loss, 3 runs in a loss, 4 runs in a win, 3 runs in a loss. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. For the Angels, they've won their last 4 games. They are 6-4 and four in their last 10. The under is hitting their last 2 games. And the over is 6-4 in their last 10. Three runs, 11 runs, eight runs, four runs. Two runs and a win, seven runs and a win, six runs and a win, three runs and a win. This is a catch-22 to me because I really believe that this is going to be another one of those games that the seven and a half is too low. It's just who do you trust more? I understand that the Angels have dropped Otani's last two starts, but they're home. So I'm going to take the Angels with the money line. I'm going to take the Angels laying the runs, and I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.